What is going on all you sexy zombie slaying subscribers of mine, Yodi Slay here bringing you a hacking 101 tutorial here on the new map moon. Um, a lot of this is going to be stuff you already know, but I figured I'd compile it all into one video. I am going to start off with the most known stuff and kind of work my way up and give thoughts on that. Uh, so let's get to the first hack, shall we? Now, alrighty, for the first hack we are going to cover, we are going to be hacking a door. Now, I realize a lot of you guys do, you know, know about this, but this is just all the hacks in one video. If you got questions, what you may or, you know, what you can or cannot hack, uh, this should answer it. Uh, but for those guys that don't know, it does take forever to hack a door, as you can see right here. But if you're really tight on points, it is really sweet because it only costs 200 uh, points to open it once you hack it. Uh, so if you're tight on getting to a box or something like that, it's a lot better than paying a thousand, uh, 1250, 750, whatever it may be. So that's how you got to hack a door. Make sure the zombies aren't spawning because it does take forever and a day. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is hacking a door for only 200 points. All right, the second hack in this hacking tutorial is probably the second most known. It is hacking a gun off of the wall. Uh, I chose to do the AK-74U right here because a lot of people don't think you can actually make it out and hack and survive. Uh, but it, you, as you see right here, you can. What hacking a wall gun does, it doesn't make the gun itself any cheaper. It actually flips the price of the uh, ammo. Uh, so like an upgraded ammo is only 500 points and regular ammo is 4,500 points. So it makes it a super easy and super effective to keep using that wall gun. Alrighty, hack number three is probably overlooked quite often, but if a zombie breaks through a window, you can actually hack that window and get 100 points in the process. So hey, if you need 100 points, hack a window. Alrighty, you got a buddy that keeps going down, keeps losing his juggernaut and biatching that he doesn't have enough points. You can actually hack a teammate. It doesn't cost you anything. Well, it kind of does, I guess. You give them 500 points, more or less. So it's taking 500 points away from you and giving them 500. So if you got a noob like, yeah, my mother, SGC Barbarian or TF2 Maniac on your team, this is a, a pretty handy dandy little hack right here. I must admit myself, I, I've used this a couple times, let me tell you. <laughs> Okay, say you've bought all four perks and then you get the ray gun out of the box and you realize you do not have PhD Flopper. With the hacking tool, you can actually go back and hack the perk machine, as you see right here, a quick revive as an example, and put that perk back into the machine and get all your money back. So if you want to get the achievement for buying all eight perks in one game, you could also do that. Save up enough money, go around, buy all the perks, put them back in the machines, and bloop, achievement unlocked. Uh, so yeah, it comes in pretty handy if you need Flopper as well. All right, this next hack is probably the coolest one out of the game. How many times have you ever thought you wish you could share the guns out of the mystery box? Uh, what you got to do to do this, this is Loser King's doing it for me. He goes to the box, buys the box for 950, hacks the gun that comes up. It does roll it again, and he sees what he gets. He gets a spaz. He doesn't want it. He hacks it again. You can see it glows there. And uh, I can go up and pick that up, as you see right there. I now have the Spaz 12. Uh, that was from his perspective. I'll show you what it looks like from mine. I do this in solo player. Uh, you know, I didn't have anybody in my game, so yeah, nobody can pick it up or anything like that. Um, but I had to get a crawler there because I'm a noob and I didn't want to go down by that one single zombie. But you can see there, I get the commando out, roll the box for 950. Um, I get the spaz. Hey, look at that. I don't want it again. So I hack it and I get lose 600 and say somebody else was in my game. I hack this FAL right here because I don't want that either. And it'll start glow right there. If somebody picks the gun up, you actually get all of your points back. So yeah, dude, you can hack the boxes even. All right, guys, this next hack is very useful as well. We all know how overwhelming Area 51 can be. And if you're not very good at running trains, you know, you kind of have a fear in the back of your head of trying to pack a punch. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to hack the pack a punch right now. It does not make the pack a punch any cheaper, but that cage that you can see there that surrounds it, it actually closes the gates on that. So you have plenty of time to pack a punch both weapons or three weapons if you've got mule kick. Uh, say you're playing with two, three, four players, you can actually, all of you pretty much get all your weapons pack a punch. 
I would only recommend doing this if you have Gersh devices. You'll see here in just a second. Uh, the zombies kind of surround the cage and they're ready to just rape you in ways that should be illegal. So you see here, I get the Gersh device out and I'm just going to hold it there. As soon as they open, I'm going to chuck that and then head over to the teleporter and get the French toast out of here. You know, you definitely don't want to go down after just spending five grand on whatever it may be uh, because it's a pain in the arse. So, yeah, guys, you can hack the pack a punch. Doesn't make it any cheaper. It just closes it off so you don't have to worry about going down or anything like that while you are papping. Alrighty, this next hack is going to be very useful as well to go to these higher runs on a solo. You can see there I throw a Gersh device to keep all the zombies off of this, but we are actually going to hack a drop at this point. Any drops, you guys, will drop a max ammo. It does cost 5,000 points to hack, um, but it's pretty, pretty effective getting max ammos. Right here, you can see we actually get a max ammo drop. There is a theory that you can get perk bottles by, you know, hacking max ammos. But so far, all I've got is fire cells. I'm not going to say you can't get a perk. It seems logical. Uh, but at this point, I cannot confirm or deny. So, guys, if you want to get a max ammo, hack those regular drops, you know, times two carpenters, instant kills, death machines, stuff like that. If you want to get fire cells, hack those uh, max ammos. And you never know, you may end up getting a perk drop. Uh, things we tried to hack that was not you know we didn't get it, it didn't lit us as i stutter like a retard again we tried to hack the uh, drops from the qeds that would not allow us to do that and uh that's about the only thing that i could think of you guys may have questions on if you know anything else you can hack that i've forgotten this uh please leave it in the comments you guys i tried to put anything i you know everything i knew of i myself don't really get hacker that much so there's probably something out there that i forgot and i probably look like a complete noob but guys please remember to rate and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed this hacking 101 video i hope it answered a lot of your questions and maybe you guys even discovered something you can hack that you did not realize so yeah guys Guys, remember to rate and subscribe, Yodi. Sign it out.